so this is uh, september 2020 fm1 ktu part c problems okay find the displacement thickness and momentum thickness for the velocity for the velocity distribution in the boundary layer uh, it is given by u by u small u divided by capital u is equal to 2 into y by delta minus y by delta the whole square so you have to find the displacement thickness and the momentum thickness okay so given data is given what is what you have to find you have to write it down what is the formula 0 to delta integral of 0 to delta 1 minus u by u dy what is momentum thickness integral of 0 to u u by u into 1 minus u by u dy okay one integral it's not double integration it is one integral integral of 0 to delta u by u into 1 minus u by u into dy okay it is a simple problem and it is very most important problem in every question you can expect this type of problem okay so what you have to do is you have to substitute u by u this value in u by u and you have to simply integrate it that's all okay what is the solution displacement thickness 0 to delta 1 minus u by u what is u by u it is given 2 into y by delta minus y by delta the whole square into dy okay first remove uh, first remove the bracket so multiply the negative sign will go inside so 1 minus 2 y by delta minus into minus plus so plus y square by by delta square into dy okay so now integration so 1 will come y and uh, you have to do the integration finally you will get the result like that momentum momentum thickness integral of 0 to delta small u by capital u into 1 minus small u by capital u into dy so instead of y by u small u by capital u you have to substitute 2y by delta minus y by delta the whole square simplification is very very important after simplifying you will get the answer 2 delta by 15 ok so the next problem an oil of viscosity 0 0.1 newton second per meter square and relative density is pumped through this much diameter pipe if the pressure drop delta p per meter length of the pipe is this much find the mass flow rate what is mass flow rate what is mass flow rate del uh, density into discharge and maximum shear stress tau max and the type of flow and the power required okay so write down first write down the given data and what are the things you have to find out you have to just write it down and what is the formula mass mass flow rate is nothing but mass flow rate is nothing but density into discharge so here density into discharge how to find out q for that q is equal to area into velocity in that we don't know what is velocity for finding the velocity you know this formula delta p is equal to 32 mu u bar l divided by d square okay understood what is mass flow rate mass flow rate it is del uh, density into q how to find out q q is nothing but area into velocity here also we don't know what is the velocity so how can you find out the velocity using the pressure pressure delta p is equal to write down this formula and from that you can find out what is u bar okay what is the formula for maximum shear stress maximum shear stress is equal to dou p by dou x into r by 2 it will be negative as the pressure is decreasing it will be a negative sign okay minus dou p by dou x into r by 2 okay we know the radius uh, dou p by dou x is given dou that is uh, pressure difference is given this will be 1 meter so you can substitute uh, the values and you can find out what is the maximum shear stress so they ask us to find what is the type of flow type of flow is whether it is a laminar flow or it is a turbulent flow like that you have to find so for finding the type of flow you are need out to find out the Reynolds number because with that Reynolds number only we can able to say whether it is a laminar flow or it is a turbulent flow so R is, Re is equal to density into velocity into d divided by mu 
substitute all the values in that and you can easily find it. if it is the Reynolds number is less than 2000 then it is a laminar flow if it is greater greater than 4000 then it is a turbulent flow okay and what is the power required power required formula is rho g q into h okay can you have to use this formula for finding out the power required okay uh, what is the solution now mass flow rate is equal to rho q how to find out q a into velocity how to find the velocity delta p is equal to 32 mu u bar l divided by delta d square diameter square so viscosity is given the pressure drop is given l length is given length is given means we are taking it as 1 meter that's all okay and what is the diameter it is also given so from that you can find out what is u bar from u bar you can easily find out what is the discharge from the discharge you can easily find out what is the mass flow rate is equal to density into discharge here density represents it uh, here the den density represents density of oil okay so density of oil how to find out the density of oil specific gravity of specific gravity into density of water so 0.9 into thousand into discharge you will get the answer okay the next is maximum shear stress maximum shear stress is nothing but tau max is equal to dou p by dou x into r by 2 dou p is nothing but the pressure change delta p divided by l into r by 2 here already we have taken length as 1 meter so substitute it as here as 1 delta p is given in the problem so substitute all the values and you will find out what is the maximum shear stress okay for finding the type of flow you must know the Reynolds number so Reynolds number formula re is equal to density into velocity into diameter divided by mu, mu. so substitute all the values so we are getting 1843.2 which is less than 2000 so the flow is laminar okay what is the power required power required is equal to rho g q into h that is pressure head in terms of oil you have to substitute how to find out the pressure head in terms of oil that is we know p is equal to pressure is equal to rho g h so pressure is given we don't know what is the pressure in terms of head so for that p divided by rho g will give you what is the head of oil so h oil is equal to p by rho g h is given rho we know g is also no so that we can easily find out what is the head 2.265 meter of oil so substitute it to this value and you can easily find out what is the power required okay finally you have to write down the result okay so what is the formula mass flow rate is nothing but density into q what is the maximum shear stress tau max is equal to dou p by dou x into r divided by 2 okay what is the type of flow type of flow for finding that uh, type of flow you must know the Reynolds number how to find out the Reynolds number Reynolds number is equal to rho density into velocity into diameter divided by mu okay what is the power required power required is equal to rho g q into h so here if they didn't give the head pressure head means you have to find out the pressure head by using the formula pressure is equal to rho g h okay from that you can easily find out h substitute in this and you can easily find out what is the power required okay clear so the last problem is a flat plate 2 meter into 2 meter moves at 40 kilometer per hour in a stationary air of density this much if the coefficient of drag and lift are given find the lift force drag force resultant force and the power required to keep the plate in motion so first write down all the given data okay after writing the given data uh, you have to find out you have to write down what are the things we have to find after finding after writing that write down the formula for the each question so what is the formula for the lift force lift force is equal to fl is equal to cl into a into half of rho v square cl into a into half of rho v square so what is the formula for a drag force instead of cl you have to substitute cd cd into that is the coefficient of drag into area into half of rho v square what is the resultant force square root of fl square plus 
f d square. What is the power required? Force into velocity. Force drag force into velocity. So f l is nothing but substitute all the value here. The all the values are given in the problem. C l is given. That is coefficient of lift is given. Area is nothing but the plate area. Here two meter into two meter. So it will be four meter square. Half of density is given into velocity. Here the velocity they have given in terms of um, kilometer per hour. So you have to convert into meter per second. Okay. So substitute all the values so that you can easily find out what is the lift force and what is the drag force. With that two forces you can easily find out what is the resultant force. From that you can easily find out what is the power required. Finally you have to write down the result. Okay, clear?